Hey, it's Chris, and today I'm here to show you a super quick tutorial on how to export individual clips out of your sequences inside of Premiere Pro. And we're gonna use one of my new favorite tools, Automation Blocks by Mammo World. This could not be simpler. All we have to do is select our sequence, we go and find this custom preset called Export Sequence Clips, and then we can choose our export format, which we have H.264, ProRes 422, 4x4, or we can choose our own custom format, and then we decide if we want the clip name to be included. I'm gonna say yes, and then we choose our export folder. So I'll go here and go to Render Exports, and then we hit Run. And just like that, all of the clips that are in our sequence have been loaded up inside of Media Encoder and we can export. Let's go ahead and do that just so I can show you these really do match up to what we had in the sequence. Okay, so let's jump back into Premiere and then we'll go to Finder, grab all of these, make sure we're sorted by name. Yep, and you can see that the name is sorted by their clip number as they appear in the sequence. So we will grab all the clips and drag them in here. I'll get rid of the audio. Let's lock this off and lock this off. And just to show you that these really do match up, I will move them in place. Really, it couldn't be simpler. Now, one thing I do need to let you know is that when these clips are exported, they actually reference the source clip information. So if you have any effects that are applied onto the clips in the sequence, those will not be rendered, as well as any audio that is inside the sequence will not be rendered. But the clips, if they have audio attached to them, that will be rendered. If you're looking for something that exports clips directly from the sequence as it is with effects, with the audio from the sequence, then I recommend using this plugin. All right, that's all we have for this quick tip. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit subscribe and uh, smash that like button. See you next time.